In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can promote Bluehost as an affiliate without being banned. Now, the reason why I mentioned being banned is because I actually almost got banned promoting Bluehost myself. Uh, this is one of my favorite stories to share with you because I know that affiliate marketing works based off of this story. A few years ago, I had watched a video from a well known YouTuber. He said, grab his grab your affiliate link from Bluehost and go answer questions on Quora and put your affiliate link there. I did exactly what he said. I got two sales, so I made $130 in 24 hours, my first affiliate commissions, but I almost got banned. I got my hand slapped twice by Quora. In this video, I wanna show you how to promote Bluehost without going through the same things that I went through. As you know, Bluehost is a web hosting platform that beginners go to to host their websites. Now, without getting too technical, web hosting is basically a place that you can go to store your website. Websites are basically a collection of files. Think of them like documents, Word documents, Google Docs, images, and video. You, in order for people to see your website, you have to store it somewhere, and Bluehost is one of the most well-known for beginners. Bluehost is appealing for people from all around the world because it's a relatively low price, I believe less than $3 a month to get started, and they pay their affiliates up to $65. It's 100% free to become an affiliate, and just about anybody can get accepted. So one of the great things with Bluehost is in addition to being 100% free to sign up, to being relatively easy to use for beginners is that they start off paying you $65 per sale as an affiliate, but once you meet the threshold, you actually get bumped up to $100 per sale. In my opinion, the two best ways to promote Bluehost is with YouTube and on a site like Quora. I'm gonna show you how to do both of those right now. The great thing with creating YouTube videos is that you don't ever have to show your face. What you can do is you can create voiceovers with B-roll. Now, B-roll essentially is stock footage that you can get from free or paid websites, and you just overlay that with your voiceovers as long as it matches up and you can get people that are interested in buying Bluehost, you can make commissions and sales on autopilot. If I was gonna start a web hosting YouTube channel and I wanted to promote Bluehost, here are the different types of content that I would create. I'd create Bluehost review videos, I would do Bluehost comparison, so Bluehost versus GoDaddy. I would do best web hosting for, I would do WordPress tutorials, and I would also include Bluehost features. Now let's take a look at each one of those right now. All right, so here I am over on YouTube and I've typed in Bluehost reviews. Now I wanna point out a few things to let you know that people are doing this all day, every day, and they're making pretty good money. The first thing that I wanna point out is that there are ads that are ran at the top of the search results. That means people are making passive income with this keyword or keyword phrase. So what we did is I've just typed in Bluehost review and the top result from four months ago has 45,000 views. The result below that 1.3 thousand views. The result below that has 1.4 thousand views and it was just uploaded two months ago. So as you can see here, doing simple Bluehost reviews videos is a good opportunity to get started. What you can do is you can either do Bluehost review or Bluehost review uh, plural, and then add in 2021. And as you can see, there's actually a difference in the results. So here's some, here's a tip for you. Add in the year and then add in maybe emojis and that can help you get some more clicks. The next piece of content that I would create is Bluehost versus. So comparison, this versus that. The reason why this works is people are at the bottom of the funnel. They're very close to buying. They just want to make sure that when they buy Bluehost, it's the best right decision for them. So as you can see here, I've just typed in Bluehost versus, hit spacebar, and all of these automatically pop up. What you can do is go through each letter of the alphabet to see if there are even more video ideas that you can create. So Bluehost versus W, you can see WordPress, wordpress.org, WPX. If we go back to E, as you can see, it's available in, in Spanish, go R and so on. As you can see, there are tons of different opportunities out there and these opportunities are getting tons of clicks. So for example, if I do Bluehost versus WPX, I'm just gonna click on that. These videos are getting thousands of views. This video from six months ago has 171 views. The one below it, no views. The one below that, 510. Uh, the one below that has 67,000 views from over a year ago. If I click this video and I look at the links in the description, they're going to be affiliate links to either Bluehost or WPX or potentially both. Most likely though, what's most 
common is if you do Bluehost versus GoDaddy because they're they're going to be in the same tier. When it comes to web hosting, there are different tiers. Bluehost and GoDaddy are going to be in about the same tier. When you think about WPX, those are people that are a little bit more serious when it comes to their blog or their website. They usually get a little bit more traffic. But if we look at Bluehost versus GoDaddy, the top result here has one point. 9,000 views from just six months ago. And so you can do this too. The next type of content that you can create is best web hosting for blank. And if I jump into computer, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Here I am in YouTube. People are going to the search bar and they're typing in best web hosting for, and then they're typing in whatever their niche is. For example, best web hosting for small business. If we click that people are creating content to help new small business owners find the best web hosting for them. As you can see, the top result has 3.4 thousand views from five months ago, 32,000 views from uh, nine months ago, Roberto Blake, 44,000 views for small businesses. Now, what you want to do with all of these is you want to highlight the strengths and weaknesses of Bluehost. For example, you're going to say it's relatively cheap to get started. It has custom domains. You can email addresses are included, SSL, and so on. When you highlight these features and you tie it in with the inexpensive or cheap price, it makes it a no brainer for a lot of people that are just getting started. So again, if you do best web hosting for and you go through each letter of the alphabet, you're gonna see there are hundreds, if not thousands of opportunities. So best web hosting for photographers. If I just click on that, you can see the top result has 5.2 thousand views from 11 months ago. The one below that has 14,000 views. So there's a ton of opportunity. And this person here is just using um, a, a thumbnail from Canva, but there is tons of opportunity in simple best web hosting for, because again, you are catching people that are close to the bottom of the funnel. You could do a video like the five best web hosting companies for photographers, and then tell them that the number one recommended web hosting company is Bluehost. There's a ton of opportunity out here. If you wanted to, you could type in 2021 and you can see this will change just a little bit and it gives you even more opportunity. This video from two weeks ago has 1.1 thousand views. The video below it from one month ago, 2000 views. Basically what I'm telling you is there's a ton of opportunity. Just in case you think that this is only available to large YouTubers, I wanna point you to a YouTube channel that's near and dear to my heart. The website, the channel is called Web Hosting Rewind. It has nine videos, it has 12 subscribers, but what I wanna point out is this video right here. Name Hero Review, does this little hosting company have a chance? This video has 926 views from nine months ago. Now again, this channel only has 12 subscribers. It has nine videos, but this one video has 926 views. In fact, most of these videos have twice to three times as many views as it has subscribers. So anybody can do it. It's not too late to get into YouTube to start talking about web hosting and Bluehost as an affiliate. Another good opportunity is simply creating WordPress tutorials. Now, WordPress is a CMS that sits on top of the web hosting that makes creating web pages much easier than the old way where you had to create individual HTML uh, word, web pages. That's way too technical for what we're talking about. But if you have a little bit of technical know-how, you can create WordPress tutorials and get in front of targeted audience and make passive income. As you can see, this top result here has 4.4 million views from two years ago. The one beneath it has 631,000 views from one year ago. And basically what you'd want to do is type in how to blank on WordPress. Maybe it's how to change the HTML, how to add SSL, for example, how to add SSL. As you can see here, it says how to add SSL on WordPress. That could be an opportunity. And then add your affiliate link, how to transfer your website from, uh, from GoDaddy to Bluehost. That's another opportunity right there. We'll say how to transfer your website from We'll say GoDaddy to Bluehost. As you can see here, the top result has 4.1 thousand views. The one below it, 18,000 views. There's a ton of opportunity when you start talking about affiliate marketing in Bluehost and affiliate marketing in web hosting in general. The final thing that you can do is you can talk about the features that Bluehost has. This is an incredible opportunity because people are very close to buying and they just wanna make sure that Bluehost or any 
company has all of their needs met. If we take a look at my computer here, you can see I've typed in how to set up email on Bluehost. The top result, someone's running an ad, that means there is money or a money opportunity. The top result has 17,000 views from nine months ago. The one below it has 2.8 thousand views from four months ago. As you can see, people are watching these videos, they're learning more, and if I click on any one of these, they're gonna have a link to Bluehost because they're an affiliate and they know that they can make passive income. Here are a few tips that I recommend that can help you get started as an affiliate with Bluehost. Number one, buy Bluehost. You can get it on a monthly basis. Like I said, it's less than $5 per month. This will give you a few things. One, you'll be able to create B-roll. You'll actually be able to talk about the strengths and weaknesses and you'll gain more credibility with your audience. Number two, create unique bonuses. Now these bonuses are actually going to help with the cons. For example, if you find that Bluehost lacks support in setting up their email, what you can do as a bonus is create an email course showing them step-by-step step how to set up their Gmail on Bluehost. So if you can create a few bonuses that will help your customers fill in the gaps that may be left behind with Bluehost, you can make even more money because you're going a step above the other creators and you're going further to solve their problem. The third thing that I recommend is actually collect their email. So instead of sending them directly to Bluehost for them to buy the, the service, what I recommend is you send them to a landing page where you collect their email address. The reason being is most people don't buy Bluehost or software in general on the first go around. What they need is they need a little bit more convincing. In addition, if you collect their email address, you can offer them additional products and services. For example, if someone is just getting started with Bluehost, what else do they need? They probably need a WordPress theme. Maybe they need something like SimRush to help them with their SEO. There is a ton of opportunity out there if you just take an additional step to collect their email. Now, if you don't know anything about email marketing, I do have a link in the description for a two week free trial to ClickFunnels as well as a free email marketing course. So definitely check that out if you are just getting started with email marketing. If you're having trouble coming up with content ideas, I recommend going over to a website called answerthepublic.com. Now the cool thing with answerthepublic.com is it collects searches from around the world and it puts them on one website. So here I am at answerthepublic.com and I'm just gonna type in Bluehost. The only drawback to using answerthepublic.com is you're only limited to two searches per day. Now, if you use something like a VPN, you might be able to get a few more searches. So here I am in answerthepublic.com. I've typed in Bluehost, and if we scroll through, we can see that it has done some pretty good work for us. If we take a look, it says, can Bluehost host Squarespace? This could be a good opportunity to create content to help solve someone's problem. Maybe they have a Squarespace account and they've heard great things about Bluehost and they wanna transfer their website or their e-commerce store, and they just wanna make sure that Bluehost can in fact work over on Squarespace. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna jump back over to YouTube to see if people are even searching this over on YouTube. Hit enter and let's see, Bluehost versus Squarespace, um, not necessarily what we're looking for, but this could be a good content idea. If we jump back over to answerthepublic.com, it says, Bluehost can't access cPanel. That's all different type of content you can create to build credibility. Why Bluehost is the best. If we scroll down here, we can say uh, Bluehost for beginners, Bluehost for blogging, Bluehost for nonprofits. If I copy this one and I jump back over to YouTube and we can see people are searching this Bluehost for nonprofits. We hit enter and Someone created this back in 2014, um, one year ago, 69 views, 77 views. So this could potentially get you some traffic, leads, and sales. But if we scroll down here, you can see there are a number of opportunities for you to create content. Bluehost or WordPress, Bluehost or HostGate. If we copy this one and we jump back over to YouTube, paste that in, and it says Bluehost versus HostGator. Uh, what are the real differences? 3.8 thousand views. People are looking up this information because they are ready to buy. They have their credit card out. They just want to confirm their suspicions. The great thing with Answer the Public is it has an alphabet soup method already done for you. So you can just kind of go through and copy and paste these over into YouTube to make sure that people are actually searching this. So now that you know how to promote Bluehost with YouTube, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can do the same thing with Quora. Now, as you know, Quora is a question and answer site that you can go to to answer simple questions. Now, the thing with Quora is that you cannot add your affiliate link. That's in fact how I almost got banned 
many moons ago with affiliate marketing. Yes, I made my first commissions, but also I almost got banned. So what you can do is you can send them to a landing page, a YouTube video, or even a blog post. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go head over to core.com. As you can see, we're already there. Up at the search bar, we're just gonna type in web hosting. And then we are going to click search. And when we click search, we're gonna go down to questions. We're gonna see here, there are a number of questions that you can answer about web hosting. And what I like to do is I like to sort it within the last week or month because these people are still searching for the answer. As you can see, there are a few people that are already doing it. One thing that's important is that you wanna be what's called first to the market. So the first person to answer these questions. So if you can go to, let's see the past hour or the, even the past week, you can potentially find answers or questions to answer. So as you can see here, people are just basically uh, answering basic questions when it comes to Quora and web hosting. What you can do, what I recommend that you do is if you don't know the answer, just simply Google it. A lot of these questions that are asked repetitively over on Quora can be answered with a simple Google search. For example, what is the best web hosting platform? You could put that right into Google. Where can I get a good web hosting deal? You, again, you can put all of these questions into Google. Do I have to pay a web hosting company for an SSL certificate? If I copy this, for example, and it automatically switched over. But if I copied this and put this right into Google, as you can see, it has the answer for you. But for whatever reason, people love to ask the exact same questions in Quora. You can go over there to Google, find the answer, and then put it in here. And then include it in your answer. Make sure that you send people either to your YouTube channel, send people to a blog post or a landing page. You cannot add your affiliate link to Quora. I cannot stress that enough. What you can do is you could actually put in a landing page or, that you create over at sites.google.com. That's a actually a free web hosting. Uh, ironically enough, that's a free web hosting company that you could use. It's actually ran by Google. But this is a very easy way to start getting leads and sales fast. That's why you see a lot of people doing it. The final way that you can promote Bluehost as an affiliate is add it as some sort of add-on. For example, if someone is just starting a YouTube channel, maybe they want a custom domain or maybe they want to start a website. What I'd recommend is adding a link to Bluehost as an affiliate in your YouTube videos and you can create content to show people how to get started creating a YouTube channel and add your Bluehost affiliate link in the bottom and tell people, hey, if you want a custom domain like allstingodable.com, click the first link in the description to create a custom domain over on Bluehost. That'll help you get affiliate commissions and ultimately it'll turn potential lead into a buyer. Now that you know how to start making passive income with affiliate marketing and Bluehost, if you wanna know my number one recommended way to start earning a full-time income online, click the first link in the description or go to allstingodbolt.com forward slash start. Also check out these videos next to learn more tips and tricks on how to make money online with affiliate marketing. And be sure to check out my website, allstingodbolt.com to read more about affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and share this video with five of your friends.